Saturday morning, the day of the race. Hopefully we'll beat at least one grandma. <laughs> Number 11. You can see the sweat. Number 10. I grew up being competitive. Mm -hmm. Tornadoes are called rolling through. We just got ushered into the bathhouse shelter area. We're in traffic in Illinois. It's the best thing ever. And we are on our way to Turtle Lake where there's going to be a 5K and we are going to run it like turtles. I was rare one person on a wet, uh, wet bridge. Thank God that didn't happen. Yeah. It's wrong to put them under surveillance. <laughs> That way. Ew. Super ew. <laughs> Illinois, Indiana border, or what it's called. So there's an hour delay. Back up. Here it is. Destination is on the right. This is the most luxurious in the guest. Saturday morning, the day of the race. And it's really, really soggy outside. It's yeah. been raining on and off all morning, all night. The race goes on, rain or shine. Um, they had a tornado that ripped right through here just this Monday. past Monday, five or six days ago. Um, took out some of the buildings, um, literally just a few hundred feet from where we're at right now. They said if there's any threat of that, of course, they'll cancel the race or postpone it. Other than that, we're gonna get soaking wet. Yeah. It should be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I wish we could um, film the race for you, but because it's a nude event, they don't allow cameras, of course. Um, but we're going to we're going to get some more footage um, around this area and show you what it's all about. All right, so um, wish us luck, and hopefully we'll beat at least one grandma. <laughs> I don't know. We're we're not runners, you know. Uh, we stay active but unless we're being chased. Unless we're being chased. All right, we gotta go, because we gotta go get warmed up and stuff and check in and everything, so. We just finished. We did, we made it, finished. I had a time of 34 and change. Mine First was- First one ever. Tiny bit faster than that. Um, it was really fun though. Yeah. We got beat by a bunch of grandmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's okay. Next year we'll get them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. train next year. I'm push sure. those grannies over. Push, yeah, we'll push them over. Mm -hmm. Push them into the lake. Yeah. We, we run dirty like that. <laughs> uh, but no, it was amazing. Um, mm -hmm. God, there were maybe 80 to 100 people running. Yeah. Mostly dudes. It was like 80% yeah. guys, I think. Yeah, for All sure. All ages, everybody. I think the guy who won, the, who got the fastest time overall, I think I think he had to have been like 19 or 20 years old. Um, and then first, his time was 19 minutes. The first woman was 20 minutes. I don't know how old she was. Um, Same age range, I think. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was wonderful. Um, there was even a woman pushing babies in a stroller around the whole thing. I think the babies could have walked and run themselves. I know. And I was like, cheaters. <laughs> um, so yeah, got like, like I said, I wish we could have had that on video. Um, but look, here's our numbers. Here's, mm. Look, number eleven. You can see the sweat. Yeah, the glistening, glistening <laughs> sweat. Mine. Uh, where is it? I can't, I can't see the screen. Number 10. All right. I wish it was 10th place. 
It's more like he has the competitive Seven genes. They do not have that gene. <laughs> I do it for fun. It's I true. grew up being competitive. Man. Yeah. Maybe I will again someday. Yeah. Couldn't be today. I just wanted to finish. We and did. he can win the seniors challenge. I don't know how to take that. <laughs> well, you have to take it because that's. <laughs> Okay, so that was fun. Right, um, it's still the day of the 5K at Turtle Lake. We just got ushered in to the, I guess there was like a big sh bathhouse, showers, and restroom area. Because the tornadoes are called rolling through. Um, just this past Monday, I think we said before, uh, one of their buildings was taken out by a tornado. And since that happened, we also heard a story um, some in some year past, I'm not sure when, they had 40 some odd trees completely destroyed here as well. So we weren't going to jump around. Uh, sought shelter in one of those bathhouses. There were, what, maybe 35, 40 people there. I don't know if it would hold us all. We mostly waited outside under the uh, awning. Pouring rain. Yeah, so we looked at the radar and man, it was, it was just this line of storms were coming right at us, bright red and pink. Um, and with the hip, we might be, okay, he says we might be going to check into the hotel. Why? Later tonight. Great. Apparently, um, we're later tonight, there's supposed to be even more coming through, and we're like dead center of it, so. <sighs> we have decisions to make. <laughs> Alright, so apparently, what time is it now? Like 6.30? 6.45. Apparently at 10 o'clock, there's more coming. Is it bigger than what we just went through? <laughs> okay, even bigger than what we just went through. Uh, where do we go? Like, these are rolling, we don't know this, this, these areas. What direction do we go? I mean, look at the radar, what's coming and where is it not going? Right? Oh, by the way, not everybody was naked in this um, bathhouse shelter area, concrete, and they central block. Yeah, it was funny. They were like, okay, they pulled all everybody that didn't have clothes on, including us, but we actually had our bags packed and ready. Um, so they basically told everybody that normal, the normal way to do things around here during these kinds of severe weather alerts is to, if you're going to seek shelter, take your clothes, take your ID, take anything that's super important that you must have. Make your life easier on the other side. <laughs> so yeah, basically take anything that's going to help you on the other side of that storm. If, if everything you have is destroyed and blown miles away. <laughs>